Hey everyone, Ammo here for more Cuphead Expert Mode going against the big green giant. This might be the only boss today because I'm trying to make it a little bit shorter because I'm recording late. Because I just got back from Thor Ragnarok and just seeing that movie was a saga, let me tell you. Do we have a different. We have a different strategy fighting this, this boy, didn't we? Different weapon mode out? I know the platforms were a nightmare for me. But, uh, yeah, I just got back for. Oh, he has tails now. He has, he has tails. Uh, got back from Thor Ragnarok. Good, enjoyable film. I'm glad they kind of went a, a action comedy direction with it, because when you're dealing with a movie. Yeah, there's a tail. Okay. He had tails last time, Preacher. Uh, we're dealing with a movie about, like, gods and monsters and stuff. The, the end of comedic. I don't know, adds a bit of a human element to it, I suppose. Alright. Can I get past at least the first stage alive? I hope so. I feel like I've shot him a lot and he's still not dead. Okay. Yeah, and it's a saga. It was a saga to see Thor Ragnarok, let me tell you. We had... I want to go see it last night. Went to the movie theater. Hey, he's gone. Went to the movie theater. They tell me uh, it's sold out. Okay, alright. I mean, the Wi-Fi, right, we should have checked or whatever. It's fine. It's sold out. So be it. So then we go... Oh, he's there fast. Oh, they feel like they're, they're faster than they were before. That's horrifying. Uh, it's sold out Friday or Saturday night. It's a Friday night. They're sold out, so we simply just go to the bar, have a couple drinks for a while. It's a good time for everyone involved. Uh, maybe spend a little too much on drinks, but that's what happens when you go out to, to a bar and they overcharge for everything. Because they gotta make, you know, they gotta make, they gotta make profit or whatever. So they mark up the drinks like a billion percent. Anyway, uh, next morning rolls around. Like, all right, well, we'll go to an early showing of Thor. We'll go to the movie theater. The wife changes her mind and wants to go to the nicer theater across the street. All right, so be it. It's still, it's only like a half hour later showing. We have plenty of time. We can enjoy the nicer movie theater. We go to the nicer movie theater. Oh, stop it. And then that early showing is sold out because we didn't check again because we don't learn very easily because we're just, we don't learn from our lessons very, very well. So then we go to the later showing. The later showing is like three hours later and it's the movie theater in the mall. So we're just hanging out in the mall for like three hours, which is... I don't want to talk about that death. <laughs> One, two, three, you better flee. Um, so we hang out, movie, we hang out the ball for like three hours. And then finally we get to see Thor Ragnarok. Good little action, Marvel action comedy film. That's how I would describe it. With Mark Ruffalo. At the end credits, ah, that sucks. At the end credits, Mark Ruffalo gets with billing. It's with Mark Ruffalo and Anthony Hopkins. And I'm like, I didn't realize Mark Ruffalo demanded with billing on the credits. Does Benedict Cumberbatch also makes like a, a he has a scene in there? Technically, Scarlett Johansson's in the movie, only like in the scene that she did in an earlier film, and it's like so not really. <laughs> I'm not sure they paid her much of anything for that because they already used that footage before. Although I'm not sure what the rules are for doing that kind of thing. Oh, that sucks. Because on one hand, they're like, hey, Scarlett, you already did this, so we're using the character, and it's part of your character that you've already recorded. But also, like, do they have to pay her for using her likeness? But they own her likeness as Scarlet, Scarlet Witch? That's not Scarlet Johansson. Uh, they own her likeness as Black Widow. So I kind of assume they don't have to pay her for that, but I don't, I don't know what the rules are. Made the rotor check for like 100,000, just as a... Uh, just be polite. Like, hey, we're not really going to pay you for this, but we make a bajillion dollars off these movies, so whatever. We'll pay you a little bit of money just to stay on here. Just to, just to keep you happy. And also, for the, the same, sorry for the fact we're never going to make a Black Widow movie. I'll be shocked to make a Black Widow movie. Although, after... Oh, man. Didn't even get past the first stage that time. After the success of Wonder Woman... Uh, maybe they could do a Black Widow. They would do a Black Widow movie. Although she's not really like super. She doesn't have the same, quite the same uh, pop culture weight as Wonder Woman does, as far as female superheroes go. She's not really a superhero. She's a hero. She has superpowers. Although realistically, these non-super superheroes are superheroes because they're superpowers. They're superhuman regardless. You say like, um, Batman's not a superhero. He's just a regular guy. No, Batman is a superhero. Are you kidding me? His power is never having to sleep. Apparently, being a healthy master of all martial arts, super strong, uh, human being that never has to sleep. Like, just because he's not Superman doesn't mean he doesn't have superpowers. I don't know where these superpowers came from. Apparently when his parents were killed, he just gained the ability to bench like a billion pounds and never go to sleep ever again so he can train to be a master ninja. 
Great, I've not seen Ben Affleck Batman. Didn't see Batman vs Superman. Was said to be terrible, and I kind of expected that, so I never wanted to go see it. And I have not seen Justice League, which is recent. <laughs> it like just came out, right? All right. Slow and steady wins the race against Green Dragon. Hey, indeed. All right. So that was my saga. So I'm recording this like super late compared to what I normally like to record our videos on. Well, I got real frightened because he was sticking his head out. Oh, you weren't supposed to shoot those. Definitely not supposed to shoot those. Oh, I might need charge. And then we can just charge up the bullet and fire it at him in between the fireballs. Till then, I really feel like we're just kind of taking a long time to kill him here. I parried. There's some shenanigans. The green dragon here is one of the platform bosses, and I don't like the platforms. Not for a not for a second. I'm not big into platforms. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, nope. Oh, we're still good. Alright, stage two. We're getting better. That's all that's all that's all we need just to get a little bit better each time. I feel like he doesn't have as much I feel like this stage isn't as tough for some reason. Like does it have as much HP in this stage? I don't know. This form. Oh, or I'll just jump onto his tongue. Not a good strategy here. Oh, come on. Come on. Alright, a little bit slow. I didn't mean to put you in the hot seat. Haha, uh -huh, because he breathes fire. It's a dragon. I get it. It's real funny. He's so spooky. He's such a spooky green dragon. Don't shoot me in the face. Also... Just started watching Punisher series on Netflix. Dude, lots of Marvel this weekend. Um, yeah, just started watching the Punisher series on Netflix. Pretty good. He doesn't do that a lot. Okay, that was scary. And by just started, I mean I watched half of the first episode today. Because the first, the pilot, I assume it's the pilot. I'm, did it even go through a pilot process? Were they like, hey, because I'm pretty sure they knew they are going to make a Punisher. You know what? Let's just retry that. I'm pretty sure they knew they are going to make a Punisher TV series. But the first episode, maybe all the episodes are an hour long? The first episode, at least, is an hour long. I'm not sure about the other episodes. They're probably similarly uh, lengthy. I really didn't want there to be a cloud there, so I can just fall down and avoid taking damage. And that was no cloud. Yeah, I'm not even going to... Mm, I'm not going to take that second hit. Yeah, it's going to be a, a real high-class bout, or whatever, as you normally say. Mr. Disembodied Announcer. I'm really thinking charge. The charge might be a good... uh. Might be a good weapon for us in this boss fight. Of course, we not take the charge weapon with us today, so I can't actually experiment with it. Oh, just stop shooting at me for a, a hot second. Hey, hot second, he's like a dragon. Oh, I'm so funny. Dude, are you kidding me? Oh, I hate platforms so much. Okay. As normal, we do well the first time, we get some beginner's luck, and then we kind of regress a little bit. This is all standard Cuphead boss fighting stuff. I was... Oh. Oh, he's really coming at us with a lot there. Are you... Oh, yeah, didn't parry, excuse me? I would love to get those parries off so I get more supers so we kill him more quickly. Yeah, I'm not sure we have a lot of time to, to pull out the shotgun here. And we jump a little shy, a little short. Oh, okay, it happens. Nope, 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 nope. I feel like so much of our success is just based on the RNG of the platforms. No. <laughs> Alright, alright, we're still good, we're still good, we're still good. Alright, 
Alright, we only took one hit. It could be uh, way better uh, in taking zero hits on that stage. But we didn't take zero hits, we took one hit. The stage we found doesn't have a ton of HP. Oh, oh, it's real bad if I go right on top of his tongue, though. Rude. Yeah, stop getting low clouds. I feel like high clouds are the way to go here. Oh, come on. Alright, take a drink of water. I might leave to go grab charge charge shots. So I feel like that might be good, especially in the third act here. We can just hit him with the charge shots. To avoid hitting the fireballs, of course. Whoa, Mr. Green Dragon. You're real pain in the pain in the butt, aren't you? I'm amazed he's still alive. How's he not past stage one yet? Alright, we're on to stage two. I think I might take yeah, I think charge shots we get charge shots over the spread shot. That I can use the pea shooter. Yeah, I can use the pea shooter here. Let's go back to the next to the map. Cause then I can use pea shooter. During the second stage, I'm just running around and just holding down the button towards him. And we can use charge shot. Use charge shot in the first and third stage. See how that works out for us. I know how to switch weapons. Thank you, game. Alright, maybe got a little, <laughs> a little distracted there. Right in the face. That feels that's very, very satisfying. I have to admit. Hey, he's already dead. Dude, charge shots the way to go. Except for here, where I just want to not have to worry about charging and just dodge the fireballs. Oh, hey, two fireballs jumping at once. No, we weren't supposed to jump down. Cup edge to jump up. Ah, oh, it's my fault. Cause I stopped. I let go of the aim button and it was holding still down for this. That was a silly mistake. Still, he lost the control for a second. Still, charge shot. Did a glorious work. Doesn't do much damage if I don't fully charge it, though, of course. Oh, can I get better and more clouds, please? Don't really want to hit him with the non-charge shots because those don't do those do basically no damage. Hit him with one of those, and then fall to our desks because again, miscontrolling the uh, aim. No, 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 no. Yo, thank you, clouds. You know, I was complaining about clouds earlier. That actually saved my life that time. Oh, jeez. I don't like this part of the fight. Please be over. Oh, stop it. No, you weren't supposed to fall down. Cuphead, what are you doing? I wasn't supposed to do that. At oh, I hate stage two. Because <laughs> the, it's the clouds. I swear it's the clouds. Man, it's these clouds. I feel if they were more consistent, I'd be much more successful. I guess I just don't play well with random platforms. Nope, nope, nope. Gotta charge faster, please. Call, come on there. 
<laughs> how, am I, how am I supposed to get out of that? Well, it's another damage. Another damage. Maybe I should just keep charge shot up. Dude, that's real hard to like fire though. It's real hard to use. Okay, you don't forget it. We're just going back to this because it's a little it's a little simpler. But we don't necessarily have to be up here aiming down diagonally. It could be like well, not quite there. That'd be lower than that. But you see what I mean? We have to we can be lower and just shoot straight. Oh, cuphead. All right, we almost. I think as soon as we can pass stage two with a decent amount of HP and we have our charter shot ready to go, I think we'll be set. And really, once I get our super up, I should be using it. Apparently, parrying like resets that or something. Get him with the old razzle dazzle and then immediately take damage. Good, good, good deal. Maybe it was, uh, should have been a little bit safer before throwing that out there. Whew. Hit him with some, hit him with a couple of charge shots. Stop it. I don't like the fires at all. Why there's so many fires? <laughs> they jump so much. <sighs> Maybe we would just chill in the mid platforms and stop falling down. Mid platforms, duck, fire, don't jump, fall through the platform and take stupid damage. New strategies. New new killer killer tactics here. I, I, every time I fall through a platform, I think a kitten is murdered somewhere. <sighs> why can't I just have a... Just give me my airplane. Why, 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 why aren't I in my airplane? If we're in the clouds fighting a giant flying enemy, why aren't I in my airplane? Like, why am I just bouncing on clouds? Bring your airplane, Cuphead. I know you have one. We've already been using it. I'm not surprised Mr. Dragon's giving me some... Uh, Issues, he gave us trouble on normal mode as well. What? I got hit by- are you kidding me? I was still in danger of the tail there? Alright, 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 alright. He's down, he's down. Are you, oh, come on. Oh, I'm trying to be, how much damage I do? It only takes a few charge shots. Maybe that is what we do there. Now I just fall down, charge up some charge shots, and dodge small flames for a little bit. Alright, whoa. Pardon? That caught me. Oh, I'm getting, sorry to get tilted here. Alright, alright. Again, charge shots. All three stages we charge shots. Charge shots the best weapon. Probably one of my probably my favorite weapon. Spread's real good too. We've had a good history of spread. And of course, just the default pea shooter has its uh, you know, is always useful. I have no idea where I am. That was I jumped immediately after dodging. Lost track of myself. Yo, you gotta give me platforms, though? Alright. Here he comes. Okay. Hey, 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 he's over. Okay, just a few charge shots all it takes there. And now he's an angry Hydra style creature. Oh. He has a flamethrower, I forgot about 
the flamethrower. Totally forgot about flamethrowers. Hey, we got him! Told you, told you we had to get the just get this phase three with our charge weapon to pass phase two. That was charge all the way. I'm a genius. <laughs> it probably would have been. I mean, probably could be even faster if I switched earlier, right? But we actually lost, didn't get past our other top grade, which is fine. We're not doing score right now. We're just going through and beating them. And charge weapon is glorious. Might do new charge spread. Just I feel like charge does more damage. Charge probably does more damage than spread. Spread does a ton of damage. Charge, you have to be like right on them to even get all that damage. I mean, it's a little easier to use because you have to worry about the charge. But anyway, so I think that's all expert stage two bosses or island two bosses. So we're already on island three. There's no bosses down here. We did the roller coaster. Yeah, we did the roller coaster. Or Pep Beppy the Clown. We did the pyramids. We did the candy cane lady. The candy wrapper. Uh, went up there and took out the. The bird's nest, that's the shop. Went across there, did the dragon, and that's it for Island 2. So we're moving on to Island 3 next time. We're making surprisingly good progress. A little bit faster than I expected, honestly. <laughs> Expert mode, like as difficult as it's been, I, I feel like we're going through kind of fast. Oh yeah, the next platform boss. Oh good. Anyway, thanks for watching the lecture video. Scott Brown finds yourself, blah, blah, blah. I'll see you later. And your obscure compliment for the night is that you are, you're, you're probably okay with platforms.